I just got spooked for a minute because I saw a voyeur over here behind the tree. But it was actually just some lady walking her dog. <laughs> Today we are on a special Halloween adventure. Nestled deep in a corner behind Stadium Park in McKinley Monument in Canton, Ohio, we find ourselves at the spooky West Lawn Cemetery, where deep within lies the one and only, maybe not one and only, grave of Frankenstein. a huge cemetery and we are going to trek through the whole thing on our way to Frankenstein's grave and look at all the spookiness. Now cemeteries are sacred but there's no doubt at this time of year they are super spooky. Look at this one right here where half of the entire body has been cut off. It probably just fell off over time, but you cannot deny that that is spooky. And let me just put out a disclaimer here that I mean absolutely no disrespect to anybody who's resting in this cemetery or any of the families. But like I said, there's no doubt cemeteries are spooky at Halloween. And not necessarily just Halloween either. I mean, look at the long winding roads going through all these graves. That is just scary. And when it's a dark, dreary day like this, it makes it even better, especially with the rain. You see the headstones like this that get wet and then the rain just runs down. Spooky. Now on my other channel, it's called That Nate Guy Too, if you wanna bounce over there and check it out. I was filming cemeteries for a little while, but it was totally different. It was during the day in the middle of summer when everything was lit up and it was sunny and bright and I put beautiful music to it. But this is just a complete completely different experience when you get out into a graveyard and it's dark and dreary and Halloween-y and fall and the leaves are all over the road and then you see something like this in the distance. It really is a beautiful statue and it's meant to commemorate someone's life, but when Halloween rolls around, see things like the chipped stone, the moss, and the fact that the girl's arm is broken off. Just look at that, that is creepy. I almost totally just fell in that hole. It's more than likely from a tree that was dug up, but at Halloween, it's a shallow grave that's just been robbed. <laughs> Look at this spooky tree that's all hollowed out over here. Holy crap, it won't be long before this one just crumbles on itself. Remember in The Princess Bride when they go down to the pits of despair through the tree? <laughs> Didn't even try to escape. Look at this guys, I just discovered a groundhog hole that goes in right here and out right here. <laughs> Wait, there's another one over here. Look at that, he can totally juke somebody. If somebody was chasing him, wouldn't you just love to be a groundhog for a day to see what it's like in an underground home? And I love fall. Look at how all the trees over here, they're pretty much still green, but then as you get over this way, you start to see where the leaves are changing and they're like a real light green and a yellow. Pretty soon there's gonna be oranges and reds. Fall rules. I can't say I love Ohio, but at this time of year, I really do. I think we're going up around this way. However, down here looks really awesome. Look at how the, uh, the roads crisscross down here. And then over here we have some awesome mausoleums. So let's go check those out. Somebody dropped their zebra cake. If you've never lived here, this is the strange thing about Ohio. This morning, it is bitter cold, it is raining. Look at how spooky this one looks. 
Holy crap. It could even snow at any time right now. But then this afternoon, it'll be about 89, 90. <laughs> I'm not kidding, that's how Ohio is. It gets crazy. I'm wearing a coat this morning. Yesterday I was wearing a flannel and long pants in the morning because it was freezing. And then by afternoon I was ready to strip all that stuff back down to my shorts. Ooh, look at this spooky tree. It almost looks like faces on there. Look at this, doesn't that kind of look like a toad face up there? You can totally see my breath out here right now. This tree almost looks like Jabba the Hutt. Look at that thing. So here's the mausoleums. There's like a whole bunch of them down here. And they get spookier as you go. These ones over here are really spooky looking. I love these two up here. Let's go check this out. These steps are kind of scary, slippery. Melbourne. This one over here is especially spooky. Look at this. They've got the bars on the door. Look at that. And you can see like a headstone inside. I mean, I, I don't know if you'd still call it a headstone. I guess you would. But look at that. I'm glad to see someone's been here to pay their respects. Look at how the iron has bent and is worn over the years. That actually reminds me of uh, Mansfield Prison. I explored out there a couple of years ago and it was really awesome. For some reason that video didn't get a lot of views, but I've really been considering going back there just because it is so awesome. Plus that's where they filmed the Shawshank Redemption and who doesn't love that movie? I just got spooked for a minute because I saw a voyeur over here behind the tree. But it was actually just some lady walking her dog. <laughs> Here's another kind of spooky looking one right here. And I see we got the Knights Templar thing up there. I don't know if that's actually what it is or not. The uh, Freemason sign. Look how the stream comes down this way and then winds like a snake over to the other bridge here. Let's just check that out for a minute. Yep, just as I thought. This is exactly the kind of place you would see a corpse bride float out. Dang, that's a serious waterfall. And then it comes out over on this side with the other corpse bride. <laughs> I gotta see what that looks like from over here. Yeah, look at that, man. That's pretty cool. And look at these ginormous leaves. They're bigger than my head. One of my favorite scenes in a movie that takes place in a graveyard is on this movie from the 80s called BMX Bandits where these kids are being chased by these goons, these guys who they stole walkie-talkies from, unbeknownst to them. But nonetheless, the guys are chasing them and they run into a, uh, a graveyard at night and they fall into an open grave. All right, let's keep moving here. I think Frankenstein's grave is right up around this bend here. Look at how this tree is just twisted from the roots up and then it's broken off up there. Okay, I know it's up here somewhere, but I seem to be in an area I don't think I've ever been in. And I've been in this cemetery hundreds of times. Look at how the tree is like swallowing up this sign over here. That is pretty cool. It's almost like it's an angry face. Like here's the brows and it's absorbed the sign as the face and here's its mouth. Look at that. Look at how the bark is just loose on here. He looks so angry. I'm sorry, tree friend. May the Lord relieve you of your ailments. 
With the leaves falling off the trees, this place looks so bare. Even now, even with all these trees over here that still have all their leaves, but we have found it. We have come upon Frankenstein's grave. And I'm so excited because I see that someone has left a Halloween pumpkin for Frankenstein. I know, Frankenstein was the doctor, but that's no fun. Okay, fine, they've left a pumpkin for Frankenstein's monster. Look at that. They even left him a drink. It looks like a Starbucks. What the heck? Who leaves a happy Halloween cup and a pumpkin at Frankenstein's grave? This is the coolest ever. Totally makes me wish I would have brought something. I wonder if it was another vlogger, like it's a rite of passage to bring something Halloween-y to Frankenstein's grave. Anyways, there it is, guys. Frankenstein's grave, right here in the cemetery in Canton, Ohio. You can even see it on those websites like Strange America, Silly Ohio, or something like that. But here's the actual uh, headstones down here. Charles Frankenstein, 1861 to 1955. Augusta Frankenstein, 61 to 35. Homer Frankenstein. Ohio Horseshoer. Okay, World War I. 94 to 67. Rest in peace, Frankensteins. And hugs to all. Leave this marker right here so you know where to find it. I swear you're not being punked. It's right there. Not seeing double either. That's just the back of the grave. Oh my god, I'm such a nerd. Now the cops are coming to get me for those horrible, horrible puns. <laughs> Bye, tree friend. I'm sorry about your pain. I love you. Sorry about your pain too, tree friend. I love you. Love you too. I'm sorry about your pain. I've never seen so many tree friends in pain. Look, this one looks like he has his arm up like, I got this one, guys! and he's munching the sign. <laughs> All right, guys, this has been a fun adventure, but I'm ready to get out of here. It's either gonna start pouring rain and get really cold or get sweltering hot in about 20 minutes. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure to find Frankenstein's grave. I'll put a link below with the address or some information if you want to come find this thing for yourself and see it. Pretty awesome. And I love that people left little Halloween goodies for Frankenstein. If you come out here, leave a Halloween goodie, take a picture by the grave, and post it on my Facebook group called That Nate Guys and Gals. That was wild. I hope lots of people come out here when they see this. It'll really stump me if they don't. Usually regular down-to-earth town folks. <laughs> Guys, well anyways, I'm out of here. Bye.